Four things Jordan Peterson taught me about what it means to clean my room. By taking Dr. Jordan Peterson's personality assessment, I discovered I was very high in conscientiousness, industriousness, and orderliness. Finally, now I have tangible statistics to prove why I like to be so organized and tidy. When I heard Peterson bring up the topic of cleaning one's room, I was intrigued to say the least. Before hearing Peterson discuss this topic, cleaning my room and keeping a tidy, organized environment has meant more to me than the superficial. Keeping an intrinsically organized environment transfers to an intrinsically tidy mind. How am I, to, how am I supposed to calm the chaos of my mind if there's chaos in my environment? To me, cleaning my room has always been a proxy to reducing anxiety and stress. The little things create the big things, and how you do anything is how you do everything. So what did he teach me then? 1. It's not easy to clean up your room. Many would think such a simple concept would be easy and simple to execute. We're talking about something so rudimentary, aren't we? Well, unless you're someone who's high orderliness and conscientiousness, like myself, then you're going to find it quite challenging to summon the efforts for a task like cleaning your room. Many either don't care or don't see the importance of it or can tell with the superficial chaos. It doesn't, it's okay to them. In fact, many don't even perceive it as chaos. They just accept it as meaningless mess. So the first thing he showed me was empathy for other people because it's easy to lay judgment and ask, how can people not do something so easy and impactful? Well, because it's not so easy for them, is it now? Nor do they perceive it necessarily as impactful. Two, your room is a symbol for growth and potential. You want your room to be set up so when you walk in there, it tells you to be better than you generally are. And I'm looking around now, and I can confidently say now that this space that I've created for myself does provoke that feeling. How can something so simple as a bedroom have this effect? Well, as Peterson infers, your room is a symbol for your habits. When you walk in your room, you either walk into disorder and confusion or you walk into orderly direction where everything is in its place. But it's not a bad obsession which can happen to those who are very high in orderliness and sometimes I skew over into. It's about the simple French phrase they use in the culinary world that I have learnt. Mise en place. The French term for everything in its place. Something I try and live by in every way possible. Three. Some may resent you for wanting to clean up your room. If you live in a chaotic environment where no one is taking responsibility for their environment and thus their life, you're likely to run into confrontation for attempting to perform such a task as cleaning your environment. Those who are disorderly, high neuroticism and low in conscientiousness will likely get angry at your attempt to clean your environment. Peterson suggests they, th they may think or say, mostly think, something like, who do you think you are? You think you're better than us? Why do you think this is worthwhile? You cast the weakness and flaws of another in dim light by trying to improve little parts of yourself and your world, such as cleaning your room. Hence the emotional response that often occurs in those who are not willing to take responsibility for those things. Peterson suggests many might have to go through a civil war in their household to be allowed to do something as simple and mundane as cleaning their room. Just another reason that cleaning a room is not as easy as people like me once thought. Four, and lastly, everything around you is full of potential. So maybe all you have is a decrepit small room that has a leak in the ceiling. Peterson purports, fix it up. There's more there than you think. See what happens if you fix it up. You'll fix yourself up simultaneously because you'll have to get disciplined to fix up the one room. So then you'll have to have a fixed up room and then you'll be a little more of a fixed up person. It'll be a little easier to fix yourself up. 
You think that nothing will happen as a consequence of that? The idea is that everything around you has more potential that we can ever fully utilize. By cleaning up your room, it is a proxy to tapping into that potential of your environment and thus yourself. So what can you do about it? Every time you walk into your room, place one item back when it, where it belongs. Just one item. You might have 150 items that you need to organize in your household in your room. Don't do it all at once. Pick one. And one at a time, the chaos reduces and the order increases. Then write down what happens as a consequence. You could use an anxiety or stress scale on a scale of 1 to 10. Write down the number every evening and note how stressful or anxious you are and how you're feeling that day. It doesn't have to be those emotions. Pick any emotion you're trying to improve. How you do everything is how you do anything. Now stop reading this or stop watching this. Sort your life out and clean your room. And thank you, Jordan Peterson. <laughs>